Okay guys, so today I'm at the HQ of EMW Toyota Motor Here to pick up <laughs> I'm sure you can make it out, right? The GIRS So, let's pick this car out for a drive GI Yaris. This was at uh, it was at the Sepang circuit. So Gymkhana event, uh, track day. Yeah. Okay. Natural. Of course. Uh, though that's a situation where we push the cars to their actual limit. Hey, pulang kereta lah. <laughs> All right. Just bumped into Aza from the Mandula team. So where was I? Right now, the last time I drove the GI Yaris was in the track event in Sepang. Now in that kind of situation, you know, push the car all out, you know, full on track and 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 uh, and Gymkhana driving. Well, of course the car shines. But today, now we take this car on the open road. The question that I seek to explore is how accomplished this car is as a daily driver because you see one of the one of the most impressive things about the GI Yaris when I last drove this car at the Sepang event is not is not that it managed to handle so well or or accelerated so well you know how it performed on the track or on the Gymkhana but rather the fact that after all that abuse the only thing that needed changing in the car, in the test cars, okay, remember, because it was it, it was the peak of COVID when they did that event. So you know there were there were multiple there were multiple sessions. So the, the cars, each of the four or five test cars that they assigned to the event that day, all went through four days, three or four days of heart pounding track. Gymkhana, track, Gymkhana, track, Gymkhana and all they needed were tyre changes brake pad wear was minimal you know, all the fluids were in great shape and you know, the car was still able to perform now, having just exited the uh, this, the headquarters of UMW Toyota, I can immediately tell you now you know, it's this car, it's it's amazingly refined on the move, right? The the gear change is short throw, precise. Clutch is not ridiculously heavy. Okay, I mean, actually, it's light. It's light. The ride, that's this is the impressive part. It's supple, right? I mean, you come into a car like this, the purpose-bred sports car. You would imagine, you know, there will be some compromises to the ride. There isn't. This car, as long as you are perfect, you are comfortable with driving a manual transmission. This is a car that you can actually live with on a day-to-day -day basis in the city commute. This, this is, you know, it's absurd how good this car is, how well engineered this car is. And see, the thing is that you can potter around your business in this car, right, in uh, in, in in gentle fashion. And, and then once you see the road open up, you can just absolutely go mad. Now comes the biggest challenge, okay? Because it's not about throwing corners anymore. It's dealing with federal highway traffic jam. The traffic jam of Federal Highway and just now as, as I was coming here to pick up the car from it was 
I can I can see it was basically a long stretch of jam all the way traffic like this back to PJ so this is where people say oh this is the nightmare of of manual transmissions but you know having lived with a manual transmission car for for more than a decade it's actually not that bad and to be honest okay right now to get off the record the clutch action of the GI Yaris here is actually yeah it's actually very very light it's totally undemanding so right now right as the traffic is at crawling speed all I have to do now I leave it in second gear and you know, I accelerate and release the or release the accelerator pedal based on the traffic in front. So like right now, okay, I am my my left leg is totally unengaged. I'm leaving the clutch fully fully biting. And at this point in time, I'm driving this car no different from an automatic. So just that occasionally I have to feed the throttle so that the uh you know so that the rest don't go too far down. But this it's this is actually not at all demanding to drive now I'm going to find now I've got an opening to the side I'm still getting used to the shift and clutch action of this car to be honest and plus the fact that I'm several months out of practice with driving a manual but but to be honest I actually miss those sensations sometimes okay okay so there's a bit of uh, there's quite a bit of road noise coming through the tires to be frank but then again what do you expect I, I, I would think that given the fact that Toyota has taken care so well the ride quality all right the mechanical refinement of the car that I think letting in some noise some road roar from the outside is a perfectly acceptable compromise so the car has auto start stop to start the engine back you have to step on the clutch and off you go so firstly here's the quick wording anybody accustomed to driving a manual transmission car the GI Yaris here is a very easy car to live with on a day-to-day -day basis amazing uh, how civilized this car is and amazing you know and such is the breadth of ability that Toyota built into this car because this car is fun in Gymkhana tracks this car is fun on tracks all right it will take endless amounts of abuse and yet it's still amazingly civilized for day-to-day -day driving so right now I'm on fourth gear. Traffic in front is is uh, is a bit slow moving, but I'm still doing about 70 odd kilometers per hour. I miss that that uh, that action of uh, of blipping the throttle whenever you downshift. That's something that that I, I truly miss, and I and I think that within the next one or two years. I think I will want to have another manual car back in my garage. See, right now I am fourth gear, 70 kilometers per hour, 3,000 RPM. Floor it. The response is quite immediate. There isn't much lag, so to speak. Of even though you know the physics, there has to be, you know, just that minuscule amount of it. So on the drive mode selection switch. Okay, you have normal mode. Oh. Yeah. So on the drive mode selection switch, you have normal mode. You have sport mode. You have track mode. There's no eco mode. Amazing how well the suspension soaked up the expansion joints of the bridge. Right? I mean, you feel it, you feel it transmitted into the cabin, but the sharp edges are all damped out. I can think of quite a few, you know, non-sports cars that aren't half as comfortable as this. Okay, so some of you will recall that I'm coming up to a stretch where last year, I drove the Corolla Altis and whacked this corner without a 
see so okay now this one the GI Yaris it's a firmer suspension but it so the car it did not soak up the that bump the way the Corolla Altis did but it fell absolutely rock solid it is this is that one example just shows how bloody well engineered this car is it's absolutely amazing absolutely amazing. when i switched to pro mileage in my case i got 46 47 percent of savings oh, for that time pro mileage was the only one that gave me five thousand extra value to cover yet still cheaper a lot less a lot Turn up. Okay, now let's be frank about one thing lah. The GI Yaris, to be honest, it's not a naturally pretty car. Uh, but it does look unique. All right, it looks like nothing else on the road, and that is further reinforced by the fact that this uh, this Yaris has no mechanical relation to the Yaris 1.5 that we have in Malaysia. Okay, because this GI Yaris is based on the European spec Yaris, which is why the signal stock just now you saw earlier was on the left hand side. Now you come to the back, right? You notice that the rear end of the of the GI Yaris here is flattened out. It's almost as if as they shoved the rear end of the CHR, you know, and forced it into the body of the Yaris. And there's some truth in that because you see the regular Yaris has torsion beam rear suspension but because the GI Yaris is made for rallying is engineered for rallying they took the rear double wishbone subframe of the CHR and put it here so uh, that's why it really looks like they shoved the CHR into the back of the Yaris because underneath the rear subframe of the GI Yaris here comes from the CHR okay now we come back to the side profile of this car check out the size of those brakes guys okay especially the front look at this okay this car is fitted with with what nine 18 inch wheels and the brakes just absolutely fill the whole space inside there the back one slightly smaller but then again uh with most cars set up they, app they apportion most of the braking force to the front you cannot apportion too much braking force to the rear otherwise you know the car becomes unstable when you brake on the turn all right so uh yeah i've done the walk around of this before so i'm not going to dive too much into this but just to highlight this unit they have they have also put in extra extra arrow kit bits here okay this black piece here as well as added on but locally by emw toyota motor uh it, it of course makes this car this already garang car look even more aggressive okay i mean you look at this right look at the way the the low the lower section of the car flares right it's like it's like they took the standard yaris from europe and they, they they absolutely buffed it up with steroids you know think think captain america okay and you and you'll be there so uh you've got frameless doors okay open the windows drop okay close back the roof carbon fiber roof okay you cut up it's not metal huh? carbon fiber okay and there's a rubber piece here as well on top of the spoiler so you see this rubber piece here there's a further ducktail effect okay to, uh that would i believe would have additional aerodynamic implications so we lift this up this famous gr4 batch so the boot space is is rather limited huh? okay but then again you didn't buy this car for sheer practicality battery mounted here at the rear uh great for weight distribution one 
and also uh, to prolong the life of the battery so this here this is the foldable type uh, well can't call it a parcel shelf but more like a luggage compartment cover and uh, you can access this to push the seat down now because the boot floor is raised it allows for a flat loading floor okay now come inside we've got keyless entry okay and uh, now you look at this right this is where okay fine not where the GI Yaris shines lah. You look into this, you bought just bought a 300,000 ringgit car and the interior is of comparable quality to a 70,000, 80,000 ringgit car. Okay, I mean, in terms of the sheer build quality of this car, uh, there is nothing here that differentiates it from the regular Yaris. Okay, I mean, of course, you get this. Um, you get this carbon fiber dash you get the sports seat gr seats here you got the alcantara leather insert here and all that but in terms of the sheer fit and finish oh this is soft touch okay this is soft touch this is hard grip plastic this is soft touch okay i revised that a bit so uh okay but this is hard plastic now see the thing is this this cabin you can transplant this cabin into the regular yaris it doesn't look out of place it doesn't it does it wouldn't even what you call make us go wow the way a mazda 2 cabin for example would uh but then again bear in mind this car all of the developmental budget of this car went into its underpinnings so hence um the dashboard where they try to they do put in some little bits and pieces here to enhance the 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 look and feel of the dashboard but make no mistake guys this dashboard was built for a much lower price point so you see here there's the glove box now this tray here i have to say is very very good very very nicely sized good enough to drop a mobile phone the air con vents under here now this screen have to say looks and feels like an afterthought okay doesn't i mean the way the way it's mounted i mean from the first time i reviewed a screen like this with the corolla well uh the the kind of hate <laughs> that that toyota got for 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 this is uh it's it's quite severe lah, huh? and here we have the gr spot start stop button here the instrument cluster is very plain this instrument cluster once again looks no different from what you would get in a regular yaris of course the uh the display elements are slightly different you've got turbo uh, you've got a turbo boost gauge here and got an all-wheel drive display tire pressure monitor and yeah you can browse through various various functions okay but then again, this there's nothing here ex except for maybe this GR, GR batch at the corner that differentiates this from what you get in a regular 80 to 100,000 ringgit Toyota. Now here, the drive mode selection button, you can have track, you can have sport, or you can just press it normal. 12 volt socket, uh, six speed manual selector, lift up to go into reverse, okay? so imt this is uh automated throttle blipping you can switch off the auto start stop stability control and this is to remind you that you are driving a car that is developed for the express purpose of rallying so you've got well very basic storage no armrest here uh now let's go to the back so from the passenger side got keyless entry here and Come in. Let us close this first. Okay. Come to this side where, where this, the driver's seat was adjusted to my seating position, and I'm well, touching the the, the roof. I'm 170 centimeters tall. Uh, got a place to rest my arm here. That's nice. Got the speaker here. Very bare at the back here, as you would imagine. Nothing surprising. Turn this around for you guys. You've got Isofix mounts here, and uh, you've got this tray here. Well, 
to, to chuck things. Basically, this is strictly a four-seater configuration. All right, and uh, well, you can, when you fold this seat down, as I showed you earlier, drop this, well, you've got a flat floor. And of course, this clip here for you to stow the seat belt aside when you want to drop the seat down. Hello, hi guys. Saya Nas Abdullah dan korang tengok kat sini dekat tangan saya sekarang ada car Air Freshener Limited Edition collaboration di antara Little Joe dan Evo Club. Korang dapatkan lepas tu korang post story dekat Instagram and then korang boleh berpeluang untuk dapatkan satu tahun supply car Air Freshener daripada Little Joe ni. So, join contest dan jangan lupa follow The Horizon Club dan Little Joe punya Instagram. So, let's go! At this point in time, if you are asking me whether should you buy the GI Yaris, well, let me answer you this. It's too late because BMW Toyota has actually sold out their allocation for this car. So even if you have money, they don't actually have a car to sell to you. So you got to wait and see if uh, another owner or if the great importers have a unit available for you and then the question becomes why is UMW Toyota lending us this test car when they are no longer selling it and my belief is that this is the underlying message is that you know, this GR Yaris, it's not built to sell in volumes. It's built to send a message that, you know, Toyota is now, once again, the purveyor of cars that, that people buy not just as a white good, not just because they are reliable, they won't break down, they have good RV and all that. But there is now that added enthusiast appeal, that added emotional appeal. You see, the thing is, for the last, what, four years, five years, ever since Toyota rolled out the TNGA platform, beginning with the CHR, I've actually come to enjoy driving Toyota test cars. So, the GI Yaris here is, I would say, the expression of a new ethos from Toyota, whereby, you know, whereby Toyota wants to show us that, that they are taking driving fun seriously again. And, and that, you know, you, there is still more to come. So, even though right now, yes, they have sold out the GI Yaris, but you can look forward to more enthusiast oriented products from Toyota again in the future not just international markets but locally here in Malaysia as well because honestly I was actually quite surprised that UMW Toyota uh, brought in the Supra and they brought in the GI Yaris here and you see the thing is that you know there's this common wisdom that people, where people say you know when you want to to, to Gauge intention. You don't look. You don't. You don't just look at what people say. You look at what people do. And UMW Toyota has been doing a lot because besides bringing in models like the Supra, like the GI Yaris, they have also invested quite a bit of resources on the Gazoo Racing Championship, promoting motorsports at a grassroots level. Well, of course, it's still a, it's still an expensive sport, but then again, you know, with the, the one week Vios GR Cup, it makes motorsports accessible, at the, it brings motorsports to a much more accessible level to privateer teams. And yeah, it, it all, it all you coalesces to that, to this one message, driving fun is back in Toyota and it is a bigger agenda than ever. Now, the closing remarks for this GI Yaris, I would say is that this car, it is just absurdly good, absurdly good, okay? Now, 
once again to remind you this car was developed as a rally special so the amount of homework Toyota put into the engineering of this car the underpinnings it's just it's just astonishing it's out of this world how you know the way this car not only drives well it handles well it's civilized for day-to-day -day driving and it will take its and it seems to be have the capacity you know to take endless abuse on track and on gymkhana and just keep going so yeah i mean yeah yes 300,000 ringgit for a car in which where you sit inside right the build quality feels no different than a regular yaris but all that money that you that you pay for this car it goes into the sensational rally grade engineering this car i mean yeah this car this car is something this car is something it's just so capable in so many 